is that they talked a lot about being able to use that in the right way, being able to bottle some of that, all those compliments. The lesson is, is enjoy the moment. And, and, and people are shaking your hands, they're writing about you, they're talking about you, and, and they should. I mean, that's just something that's deserved. But it's, it's using that feeling that you're getting to be able to propel yourself, not pat your own self on the back. But you remember what got you there, okay? So I want us preparing today. When we're on the road, we might as well be in Lubbock, Texas on Wednesday. And when we're on the road on Thursday, you might as well be in Lubbock, Texas the way we prepare. Okay, but I want this team so excited about the opportunity. And that's something I want them to learn is, is yeah, that's good and, and you deserve all of that. But also use those compliments and everything to start believing in yourself to do bigger things now that the tournament's here in, in, in the Big 12 tournament, the NCAA tournament, and, and kind of bottle that and don't let it all get away because you can easily let it get away and go flat. But use to bottle some of that to kind of propel you into the next direction. <laughs> So the conference tournament, which is huge, and that's we're coming in as the number one seed, and obviously we want to win it. And then with being first time to the NCAA tournament, we have a lot of goals there, hopefully make it past the regional round to the Sweet 16. So um, I, I don't think we should forget that we just won the conference title, but we definitely need to um, build off it and keep working. Let's go. Let's get work. I'm gonna, we're going to work as hard as we've ever worked today. Push, 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 push. One thing Todd has always um, been big on was always like, once you win, let it go and then start looking ahead because that's what's next. We can't just always look to the past and just like get excited about that. We have to get excited for the next match. You're upset because you missed your change direction through the middle. Wait until there's a ball you can step in on on the change. Do it because you feel like you have to. We can't just like, oh, we won. Now we can just settle down. We have to make sure that we keep that we keep the reputation up so that no one thinks it's a fluke and that we really work hard to make sure we keep doing really well. Okay, but I want you being really strong out of the corners. All right, 15 and then we'll switch. All right, the person running, run hard. You have one way or one or two ways to go when you, you feel that success. It's either to sit back and enjoy it um, and, and stop working as hard as you have to get to that point or you really realize what that feeling's like and let that motivate you that you want to have more of those times. And obviously with the group we have, I'm pretty sure I know which way that's going to be. And that's just, you know, they want more of these. If it's a ball you can move inside the court on, do it. You don't have to stay behind the baseline. I want one more backhand. Good, switch. The workman like the blue collar attitude of just trying to get better every day. And, and that's what the focus is. Obviously, you want to be as good as you can and win as many matches as you can and, and championships or titles as you can. You're still sometimes stubborn, okay, and thinking, I like the confidence that you can make that shot, but just be smart about that's not a ball you're going to win the point on, all right? But you've got to make them volley, worst case scenario. But our goal every day has always been, it hasn't been about that. It's just about each girl trying to get better individually every day. And if we do that, our team's getting much better. And so I think that's where we are. Good. Nice, come get it. Playing tennis has really like given me life lessons outside of the tennis court, like working hard and never giving up and things like do, doing what you gotta do. Everything in life, you have, you have to work for it and you can't take anything for granted. I mean, working's never done. Even through the summer when we're not in season, in the fall, I mean, we always have something to prove. We just gotta get back to work, not become complacent, and um, just enjoy the moment, I think, and enjoy working hard and enjoy that what we've done, we've put ourselves in good position. It's only gonna make us stronger, and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen over the next couple of years. No seniors this year, everyone's coming back, we're gonna add some more pieces, um, and I, that just is so exciting, I think, for everyone. The future is very bright. Uh, for Texas Tech women's tennis, um, and that's fun. It's fun to be a part of and, and to know uh, that we've got this group coming back. We're just going to get closer and work harder and get better, and it's everything's on the rise, so it's really exciting. Run!